Hello dear Virgo, this is Cupid's advice for you for the month of April. My dear Virgo, you've got as um, overall energy of uh, April, uh, major arcana justice. It's not bad, but it's serious, because in the first place it's major arcana, it's karmic um, uh, card, and it's also a serious month for you. It's very important for you somehow for your personal relationships. So, <clears throat> what can be when we see justice? Let's say, for coupled people, if there was some, let's say, um, difficulties and things were going very bad and it was going to divorce uh, or separation it can be the month where it will happen but for those couple couples who living quite happy everything is fine it can be very serious month maybe you will have to make some decisions uh, maybe some <clears throat> you have to be honest with your partner uh, maybe there will be more responsibilities on you in these relationships uh, maybe you have to, you will have to think about quite serious things that you never uh, was thinking about like it was like about somebody somewhere else not in your life but this month you have to make these decisions you have to think about it you have to commit with somebody um, you feel uh, that you are responsible for some people from your family for example <clears throat> or responsible for your partner as well uh, <clears throat> so what else we can say about justice about karma you know um, it's not like this mysterious something karma it's we have been doing something let's say uh, I am Virgo for example it's just example I have been in my past recent past month two months half a year one year ago it's not like 20 years ago it's it's not so often it's more like this <clears throat> lately let's say i was i don't know i wasn't fair to my partner i wasn't fair to people i tried to do something wrong mm, i behaved bad mm, i was i don't know insulting somebody anything you know I was drinking <laughs> let's say and my husband was always saying me please stop doing it please stop and I was continue to do what I liked without thinking about consequences this is cut of consequences action was before so that's why when we see injustice and if our life is quite testing us this month we have to uh, understand what we did wrong maybe we couldn't be fair to others maybe we could save somebody maybe we could forgive somebody maybe we didn't have to destroy that family by uh, trying to uh, pull uh, this husband who has three kids and we uh, wanted to remove him from the family and now we have some difficulties in our lives and we understand we don't understand why it's really bad if person doesn't don't understand why because we have to see the consequences of our actions words uh, or silence for example sometimes it's not only actions and words sometimes it's passivity and silence as well they are wrong but justice it's quite serious month try to be keep this balance try to balance your relationships try to um, be equal with your partner at least uh, what's the word you have to try to be equal as much as you can listen to your partner 
try to come to some agreements with your partner as well. So, <clears throat> Page of Cups, what can help? Queen of Swords, it's uh, what will not help you. And Paw, it's um, from Fairies uh, by Lucy Cavendish. Um, and it's written here, time for change, to learn something new, advanced technology. For me, it's about this Page of Cups, trying something new. Don't be afraid to, afraid to look a little bit silly. Uh, open your heart. Um, accept some invitations, by the way, maybe. If someone inviting you somewhere, if you're single, don't sit there like this Queen of Souls. Lonely and bitter. Don't act like this. Don't judge people. Don't be too tough with yourself, with people. Don't... Um, if we're talking about this page of uh, cups and Queen of Swords, also you have to understand, Queen of Swords, she has very sharp tongue. She can be tough to people and she can't feel uh, that she's hurting them, that it's so painful for them. Page of Cups is not like this. Uh, it's someone who is trying to be more nice, be more sweet, be more soft. So be more soft. Don't judge yourself. Don't judge people. Don't uh, be this queen of sorrow. Try something new. Learn something new. Don't be afraid, even if you're in relationships, don't be afraid to try something new. Do it in a new way. Invite your wife, even if you have been living with her like 10-15 years, it doesn't matter. Invite her for date. I don't know. Go to some new concert, go to some new place, try something new, tell her words of love. And when people telling you words of love, accept it, enjoy it. Be more open, open your heart. Because in this lady, this Queen of Swords, there is like no heart. Of course she has it. But uh, I said like it's no heart. It looks like there is no heart, there is no feelings. It's only reason, mind, sharp tongue, logic. That's it. And this boy, Page of Cups, has a lot of fantasies, wishes, dreams. Um, he believes, because he is looking for the water, he has this um, from the grape, not tree, uh, but uh, you understand this thing. And she is trying by, with this thing to find the water in this, let's say, desert. <clears throat> so, look for something new. And don't lose hope. If you try it once, twice, uh, and even if you didn't succeed immediately, try again. Be more I don't know, believe in yourself, believe in miracle. And the same is poor. It's also new. You have to try new things. We're talking about love. Here it's about technology. By the way, if you are not so <clears throat> if you not so good with all this iPod, uh, new phones, computers, maybe it's not a bad month to try. Why not? To send a message, <laughs> to write something, uh, to talk with someone via Skype, if you never tried it before, try it. So, also Page of Cups, it's, uh, and it's recommended, it can help. It's card of invitations, compliments, gifts, surprises. On the bottom of the deck, dear Virgo, you've got Six of Pentacles. It's also a card of pleasant surprises, gifts. Because they open the door and they see this basket with the toys, candies and some boxes with the gifts. It's so pleasant, it's so sweet and nice. So if someone uh, bringing you some present to you, it doesn't have to be physical like in the box. It can be some word, it can be some help. People <clears throat> trying to show their attention to you, accept it and enjoy it. And you as well. Tell sweet, nice things to people. Because with this sharp tongue, what you can get back? The same. And you will be even more bitter. 
it's not uh, it's not good for our love life it's not good so try something new enjoy life love yourself love people open your heart and date 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 so dear Virgo I'm wishing you a great month big love and hope to see you next time